Oh shit! What it do, ski guys? It's your boy Farewell34, and today I'm here with Iron Fist Season One, Episode Two: Shadowhawk Takes Flight Reaction Video. So, guys, this is Episode Two of Iron Fist. I'm continuing the binge reaction. Uh, it's about 5:30. AM. Uh, in case some of you guys are wondering like how quick they can get these done, each video takes about like two and a half hours to get done a reaction video. I know it takes longer than you think. Uh, but anyway, that being said, finished first episode. I actually thought it was alright. I'm really interested to see where they're going to be going with Danny's character. He kind of had an assassination attempt on him already. There's this hawk that's in the title that we saw earlier that killed his buddy uh, that he met. Or that was on his body. It was just, there's probably some connection to that. And we also had Colleen's character introduced earlier, so um, I'm looking forward to see what's gonna be happening in this episode. If you guys are excited to start this episode with me, I'm gonna need y'all to smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already. If you're trying to join the notification squad, be sure to click the little bell button next to the subscribe button so you hear right when the videos drop. And of course, guys, be sure to check out my social media. If you have Twitter, if you got Instagram, be sure to follow your boy. Um, I've been using Instagram especially a lot more heavily to post just, like stories about my day and stuff randomly. I don't know. Anyway, let's get this one started. Episode 2. Yoi! Alright, we got some snow. Oh no, it was just a flashback. You are at Burt Psychiatric Hospital. I shouldn't be here. I'm not dangerous. <laughs> I had a fella down the hall say the same thing just before he bit the doctor's nose off. How? What? <laughs> I need to get out of here. <laughs> and I think I know exactly how. Uh, you need to kill yourself. It's really the only solution for any of us. I mean, look, I have tried what so the? times, and they keep saving me. Do it now while you have a chance. What the? F <laughs> you need to go ahead. What? Was that a nod? No. Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with him? What the hell, Simon? We're gonna get you cleaned up now. First, I need you to swallow these. Blue pill or red pill? Both. <laughs> Let's say you're right. That would mean that he somehow miraculously survived a plane crash in the Himalayas. Whoever he is, he needs help. And we've made sure he's getting it. Mm -hmm. We couldn't just have him arrested. He's got Silver a bigger cup this time. We're not bad guys. Beautiful CG. That was being sarcastic. It's either here or jail. But I have you for 72 hours, so I think we should make the most out of it. Look how dirty his feet are. <laughs> Let's start with this. Danny, don't burst out now. He's doing you a solid. Find out what's going on. Okay, obviously I, I didn't die. <laughs> you don't say. But I could see pieces of the plane scattered over the mountainside. I, oh, a dead dad. I had to go and check. Both pilots were dead. Nope. I found the main fuselage. Wendell Rand. Yeah. And he was dead too. Aw, oh, feels bad, man. What about your mother? It's actually, <laughs> oh she, oh she went out the plane. No. Huh? No, where was she? Hey, what? I could have sworn she went out the window, uh, at the top. We got you, Danny. I mean, she's got to be dead, fam. What did you do? There were these two men standing above me. Chodok and Tashi. And who were they? Monks. Order of the Crane Mother. Oh shit. He's like uh, Crane Mother. Monks. Crazy. Of the Order of the <laughs> See. Crazy. This is your passport, isn't it? Your picture. Canada, let's go! Toronto, Canada. Oh, Toronto, let's go! I'm from Toronto. Never seen that before. This is really interesting. They're playing like the whole 
he doesn't know his who he is. He's kind of losing his mind because of the medications and all that. I mean, Nick were talking about it just a second ago. Kind of reminds me of uh, Moon Knight, almost. Similar. Oh, she's getting followed. Well, a good thing she has her sword with her. Oh, she has a fingerless glove. Badass. Uh oh. Let it go. Let it go. Frozen? Yeah. I need to get out of here. Yeah, well, we all want out. That's why they dope us every eight hours until we are just mindless donkeys. Who you call him, Donkey? Oh, no. I'm sorry. My mistake. You apologize too? For, for what? <laughs> For being alive. That's just stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Apologize now or I'm gonna hurt you. Remind me what's wrong with this one again? <laughs> Swift. <laughs> oh gosh. Aww. I need to get out of this place. He's working with them. Do you have any family you can call? Friends? Lawyers? No, I'm sorry. Oh, Colleen, bless. You can call her. Hey. It's Danny. Who? Danny. You, uh, you met me at the park, huh? I looked you up at your dojo. <laughs> this isn't creepy at all. Who? Oh. Dad. Dad's got some punches. Oh, shit. It's possible. What well, doesn't make sense? Cray mother. There are no monasteries. Anywhere near where contact with the plane was lost. And Order of the Crane Mother doesn't exist. No. This is Danny. He's only made one phone call out to a uh, Colleen <sighs> Wayne. She runs a dojo near Chinatown. I have to do this. Why don't you send one of your guys? You are one right. of my guys. One of my most trusted guys. I like him. <laughs> Meditating. I know it's a federal crime, but it's the only way I could get back into the States. I'm not John Anderson. I'm Danny Rand. All right. We'll talk about it in our next session. How's that? Hey, he's from Toronto, man. I'm down. <laughs> Danny, take it. Gain their trust. So next time. You'll go ape shit. I'm wondering if you've had any contact with a man who's gone by the name Danny. Mid twenties, homeless, no shoes. <laughs> he actually held a gun to my head. Oh, really? Now, that's not a fucker. It would be very helpful for us if you would be willing to sign some papers that would attest that you felt threatened by him. No. Threatened. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. Damn straight. And as a token of thanks, I think Rand would be happy to Money? set up a neighborhood improvement donation to be spent however you choose. Oh. I'll have some papers drawn up to simply say the man acted unusually, made you feel uncomfortable. It's a little more accurate. I just don't. Think... I'll give you some time to think about it. You'd be doing us a great favor. I mean, she could the use the money. money. really bring this place up a notch. Oh, sleazy guy, eh? 
Sorry guys, I just went to the bathroom quick time. Oh, I forgot what it feels like. I was sitting down for like three hours. I, I got up and I nearly fell. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to this. What is it? Windows background? The hell? It's a commercial I found from about 15 years ago. This bill went to the circus in Madison Square Garden. I didn't want to do the commercial. Mm. That's how dad talked me into it. <laughs> he just like, do I give a shit? John Anderson. That's your name. You are not Danny Rand. Holy shit! I am Danny Rand. I don't care what you think. See, he knows how to throw shit. Not like the other guy. He didn't even throw the meal last time. You actually get a shrink who's trying to help the guy. Sorry. Why do you always say sorry to me? He's Canadian. Like some scared little rabbit who's always apologizing. Sorry. <laughs> you know what my dad used to do? What? Whenever I messed up, which, according to my dad, was pretty no. much all the time, he'd whip me across the back with his belt. And with each, I'd have to apologize for forcing him to exert himself. But now, I don't apologize for anything. Is he actually going to help Danny? I feel like that's going to end up happening. The the guy just earlier is going to kill him. Okay. Years ago, when you were about 10 years old, you did a commercial for Rand? Uh-huh. Yeah, we are Rand. Anything else stick out about that day? Uh-oh, he's inquiring. <sighs> they put me in a stupid dress. <laughs> it was cold out. Did you do anything afterwards? Oh, yeah. The circus. We all went to the circus afterwards. You're sure? Yeah, yeah, it was Danny's idea. He didn't want to do the commercial. You think she'd be smarter and be like, oh, we went to the zoo. Then why do you ask? I'm afraid I can't really say patient confidentiality. Well, now you have me curious. Sorry, wish I could say more. He's dead. <laughs> she sends like a doctor emoji and a gun to her brother. <laughs> Hate needles, ah. Guys, do hate needles too? Let me know in the comment section down below. Harold? Harold? Do you remember that song I used to sing? That would annoy the shit out of you. Oh my gosh, the audio too is distorted. I thought you were dead. And I thought you were dead. <laughs> Ooh. I guess that's something we have in common. Touche. He's playing them. Hey. Where is the monastery? Wow. Kunlun. It's one of the seven capital cities of heaven. Probably never should have left. At least understood my place there. Oh, and what was your place? I was a warrior. Hmm. Only in the middle of a fight did I fully come alive. The harder someone hit me, the... The more everything came into focus. Oh boy. What kind of warrior are you? You crazy. <laughs> I became one a long while. A mortal iron fist. Yeah, let's go. Living weapon. Oh, mortal iron fist. The sworn enemy of the hand. Wait, what's this? Sworn enemy of who? The who? Sworn enemy of the hand. Right now. So he just went like this on his face. <laughs> Where did you go? What? I'm confused. Uh oh, it's family photo day. Ha! <laughs> I love how the green candies are right next to him and the one yellow. <laughs> That's so good. Hints towards the suit. Oh, there's a blade this time. Relax, fam. What the hell? And he's back. Sorry to interrupt, but I was hoping we could make a trade. Yeah. No deal. What kind of trade? If you sign these, fifty thousand. Then I will leave you this. How much? 
How about his zeros? Show me those commas. $50,000? We could do a lot with that. I'm a freaking G! It's very important to you. Oh my god! Dead ass! If I sign this, then what do you do? I just want everyone to be safe. I can't my believe I got that. You, myself, even the Holy shit! Guys, I assure you, that was literally just a guess. Feels good. We're gonna see some powers, boy. Oh, he lost his focus. He needs his iPod. I think that's what he really needs. Plugs those bad boys in, he's going in. Oh, mailbag! Iron Fist Fridays. I like the Smarties! Is it Joy? Nope, the brother. Oh, never mind. You okay? No. I think I've been all kinds of drugs. Why? To keep me safe. Didn't expect to see you. Would Ward meet you want me to sign papers that say you're dangerous? My family thinks I'm a threat to them. And why would they think that? Financially. Guessing because I'm Danny Rand and I probably own more than half the company. Wait a minute, Danny Rand, as in Rand Enterprises? Equals more than $50,000 if you help them. <laughs> it couldn't be something simple. Okay, but really, I can't be involved in this. Okay. I understand. Just one last favor. What? Nothing crazy, right? Deliver these to join each. Oh, it's gonna be just the green here to see you. and the yellow M&M. Oh. Watch. Ooh, that picture lined it up. Makes sense. Brings a message across that it actually is Danny because it's something only they would know. Mm hmm? Oh, there seemed like there was too many in there, though. Oh, he just took the black ones out? Or the brown ones or whatever? Oh my god. It is Danny. Let your brother know I'm not signing these. Oh. Well, that, that was it. Now she knows. She starts eating them one by one. <gasps> oh, he's gonna take matters into his own hands. What was Colleen Wing doing here? She didn't sign them. Danny sent all but the brown M&Ms. <laughs> that supposed to mean something? <laughs> yes. When we were kids, we would eat them together. All but the brown ones. Nobody would know that but Danny. Joy, I'm sorry, but a bunch of M&Ms doesn't prove anything. It does. Whoever he is, he is in a safe place right now. Mm -mm. The best thing to do is wait until we get a full report from the doctors there, and then we can consider our next step. What? No! Joy! I oh. insist. Oh my god. Jesus, Ward. He's got the crazy eyes on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so she'll be coming to Danny's aid. I did a little research last night, and uh, I want to ask you a few questions. Imagine he was like, what did Yahoo say? When you were a kid, <laughs> where did you go to school? Makes sense. Does what makes sense? Speak, god damn it. <laughs> I believe you're the real Danny Rand. He's a believer. Where have you been the last 15 years? I told you! <laughs> Come on, where, where is that? He's baiting him. It exists in another dimension. Another dimension? Yeah. <laughs> it only appears on this earthly plane every 15 years, give, give or take. Depending on the celestial tilt. Oh. Is this all a part of you trying to focus your chi? Yeah. If, if I can focus my chi 
And then I can summon the Iron Fist. Oh shit! And the Iron Fist is... The Iron Fist is... It's me. It me? Is he gonna say show me? Can I go now? Are you Danny Rand or are you the Iron Fist? Oh no! I'm, I'm both. He just ruined it. <sighs> Danny. I believe you've been through some great trauma. Fuck you! You, crashed, you, you lost your parents. Ah, your it's going back to the beginning. I'm too overwhelming to deal with. We create a false reality. Fam, don't pull and this shit. Helps us deal with the loss and suffering. We, we give ourselves superpowers, secret identities. Come on, look at the world the past couple of years, man. You don't believe that shit? Things that make us feel strong. No, no, this should be taken as good news because now it means we can make a plan for treatment. Ah. Uh, false prediction. Turn on the Christmas lights, bro. What is wrong with you? Show them. Danny, for your own safety, I can't release you now. If I can summon my chi, I can, I can focus my energy into my hand. Creating a powerful weapon. Okay. Yeah, Loki does sound pretty crazy. That's a new one on me, but since the incident, I'm seeing a lot more people who honestly believe they have superpowers. Oh, I am okay. The Iron Fist. So he's taking it from I an angle where like there's a lot of fakes. Do you, do you want to show me? Yes. The Iron Fist. Let's see how it works. He's on the drugs though. I can't. <sighs> Feels so bad. Yeah, I'm still, I still have no idea what that is exactly. I don't do that kind of thing. Have some of your men do it. What are you talking about? They think they want to kill us to kill him, eh? What are you planning to do with him? We're putting him somewhere safe. Somewhere safe? We can't risk him falling to the hands of anyone else. And why? Why are we protecting him? Aren't he's... you listening, Danny? Maybe of great value to me. This is just crazy, Dad. Nah. Nothing good will come of this. You stupid. Now are those like, is that like hardcore drugs or is that just like prescriptions? Gotta put this on hospital rules. I love how it's going like in and out of focus. Two in. Where am I going? It's all yours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not nice. Is he gonna go off or? Oh shit! It's the freaking inmates! What am I saying? Oh, I didn't even take that in. I'm stupid. Let's go. Drop kick. They teased us there. They teased us. The hawk. Oh boy. So the meds have worn off. Let's go! Oh, shit was on camera, eh? No. Oh, I thought he was gonna fall and I'm like, come on, fam. Alright, alright. And guys, that was Iron Fist Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, Shadow Hawk takes flight reaction video. I gotta say, guys, I really enjoyed that episode. I thought it was, I thought it was great. I thought that was much better than the first episode for me, at least. I thought the performances were stronger from both Colleen and uh, Finn Jones. I'm more on board now with both of them. I thought the story to this episode, being at this you know mental institution, Iron Fist going in and out, exploring more of uh, of of Harold's character. I'm just like genuinely interested and in, in, uh, intrigued of what's going on right now. To explain a little mo a little bit more about you know. Kanlan and, and 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 all that stuff. I thought that was really well done. And although there wasn't that much action until the end, uh, which was actually really cool to see. Obviously, you know the Iron Fist busting out. I thought it was I thought it was actually really well paced. And uh, I actually was like emotionally engaged with this episode. And that's mostly because of Finn Jones' performance and some of the other characters in there as well. But overall, guys, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this episode. But what about you guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And guys, that's episode. Two, probably take a nap because I think three reactions in a row uh, kind of takes a lot of energy. Kind of drains me a bit. But um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.